Hi guys, uh, welcome to Creek Voice. Uh, so the latest topic uh, that is doing rounds on social media uh, uh, after yesterday's match has been uh, Dwayne Bravo's backing of, uh, you know, backing at the non-striker end when Mustafizur Rahman was bowling, right? Uh, so there were a lot of talks uh, 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 from experts and fans alike saying that if a bowler is overstepping by even a millimeter, they are penalized a run, free hit. So uh, when when the batsman is trying, I mean, taking advantage of two yards even before the ball is bowled, uh, why not the batting team or the batsman is not penalized? So. It is very clear uh, that it is a, uh, a batsman's game is their argument. While I don't disagree with that, the batsman should not take uh, an added advantage even before the ball is bowled. Uh, but the but but uh, if you allow the bowlers uh, bowlers to uh, right now the law is the bowler can uh, run him out at the non-striker end. Um, uh, let's not even talk about the spirit of cricket here. I mean, uh, let's not go into that uh, topic here. So with, we are all only talking about loss here. So I I agree, the bowler can uh, you know get the batsman run out at the non-striker end. That is well within the law. But when you start uh, allowing that law, I mean, when you start encouraging that, then the bowler will not concentrate more on you know getting the batsman out at the striker end. Rather, they'll be focusing only on getting the batsman run out here. Uh, if you see a uh, bowler's uh, strategy is always to get the batsman out in the way of you know bold lbw caught behind caught at slips the run out is never on the mind of the bowler it doesn't the bowler is not thinking uh, this ball is i'm going to make this batsman run out by while bowling so it is never in their mind to get that run out so what is uh, how do you uh, solve this problem so uh, my suggestion would be um, anyways the third umpire is now looking at the uh, the overstepping right of the bowlers so in the similar way the third umpire can look at when the batsman is going out of the crease right so uh, he can check if the batsman has you know gone out of the crease after the ball is released or not in case if it is not uh, you know in case if he has uh, 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 taken that uh, uh, one yard or two yards advantage then after uh, say a run or, uh, or two runs is completed you can penalize one run say for example if a batsman uh, is scoring if a batsman is striking and the non striker end and the batsman is you know they're completing two and after that if the umpire checks that okay the, the batsman has taken advantage you can reduce one run so uh, if you do that then batsman will start slowly start watching the bowler's hand at the non striker end and once the ball is released then they'll you know try to uh, you know back up then they'll try to start take uh, that that run first that first run so that way you can uh, um, uh, ask the batsman to stay inside the crease uh, so there is that won't be a clear advantage to the batsman so what do you think about this uh, uh, rule change so do you do you have any other suggestions to make this a better law uh, please do let us know in the comment section thanks guys